Welcome, welcome back on Cisco. In this video clip, we're going to take a look to uh, transforming polynomial function, and in fact, we're going to look to power function. <coughs> so let's take a look here. Uh, first of all, I'm going to use GeoGebra for this activity, and uh, I'm going to use this graphing calculator. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to sketch the graph of y equals x cube and y equals negative x cube uses this graphing calculator you can see them here so again the green the green graph is uh, f of x equals x cube or y equals x cube and the blue one is uh, negative x cube so as you notice the first one here yeah, we is going up from uh, left to right left down right up we should expect this the second one is going down from left to right uh, a negative leading coefficient and add exponent. Um, so that is something that we can talk about. We, we can see, uh, for example, the, the f of x equal x, cube is, like I said, is going up. Here is very, a very important point you're going to find in calculus what that is, and then going up here. The same happened with the other one. And if you notice, uh, this one here, right, g of x equals negative x cube, right, this one, is a reflection, reflection of x cube. And now we can look here in two ways, a reflection over the x-axis, right, or reflection over the y-axis. In fact, here we're going to call it a reflection over x-axis. You're going to see uh, y-axis a little bit later. Uh, on this uh, second part, we're going to look to first to x cube and uh, y equals x cube and y equals x cube plus 3, and then to the next one. If we do that on GeoGebra, what do you notice? Right? Again, you see f of x equals x cube is the green graph, right? The one we start with, and then f of uh, g of x, how I call it here, x cube plus 1 is the uh, blue one and if you notice let's look to this point right that i mentioned before very important point for for this uh, power function x cube uh, is moved up one unit in fact that is the transformation we can write here move up one unit so obviously if you want to move x cube up five units then you have to have something like that okay similar we can look to x cubed minus 1 here I call it h of x equals x cubed minus 1 which is this orange graph which has this uh, important point and you notice this point move down in fact the whole graph move down one unit. So if I want to move um, the parent graph, right? Let me let me use that word here, parent graph. If I want to move the parent graph, uh, f of x equals x cubed ten units uh, down, I just have to write x cubed minus ten. Okay. Let's move to the next part. And the next part, we're going to look to x cube and x plus 1 cube, the quantity x plus 1 cube, and then x cube and y equals x minus 1, the whole quantity cube. Okay, so let's see what we see here. Again, this is the parent graph, right? which has this important point 0 and 0. Uh, and then let's take a look to this one. Right? This one is the blue one. Right? Over here, this one also move. It move left one unit. OK. What about the, the other one? 
by the other one, I meant uh, x minus 1, the quantity x minus 1 cubed, but here I call it h of x. And it's the orange guy here, which also move. And in this case, it moves right one unit. So, for instance, if you want to move x cube, uh, uh, let's say 10 units uh, right, then you're going to have x minus 10 inside of the parentheses raised to the third power. So, 10 units right here. And if I want to move x cube 7 units uh, left, I'll be x minus 7. Okay, and now let's take a look to the last part where we do uh, some graphing. In this one, we're gonna graph y equals x cubed first, and then y equals one half x cubed, and then y equals x cubed, and we're gonna look to uh, y equals two x cubed. So look at here. So again. Let's take a look to the first pair, x cube and 1 over 2 x cube, right? So f of x right? equals x cube. The green graph is right here, it goes to that point 0 and 0. And the same for the g of x, this blue graph, it goes to the same point. What is different? If you take a look, let me do that here. Uh, this is uh, x cube, right? y equals x cube, and the other one is like this, right? I'm gonna exaggerate a little bit, you, you can see that here, okay? So, for instance, if you want to see this behavior a little bit more, make your function 1 over 10 x cube, right? So that will be even more. You will notice that in your app. Right. Now let's take a look to the other two. The x cube and 2x cube, right? So again, the 2x cube is right here. Okay, and you notice now here that uh, is the behavior is the opposite. Right? If we have here x cube, right, then 2x cube is going to be something like this. The uh, left side and the right side of y equals 2x cube, right, are going closer to the y-axis. On this one, they go closer to the x-axis, okay? So basically now we cover, I think, all of the possible transformation, and I'm gonna we're gonna do a summary here, right? So this x cube minus k, this this first guy here, when k is positive, that will be moved down uh, k units. Um, this one here, uh, when we add k. All uh, right, x cubed plus k is going to move up k units. And uh, on the other hand, this one, if you remember, minus x minus k, the inside of the parentheses raised to the third power, is going to move to the right. right here, and this one, you have to be careful, right? This one and the next one. And this one is going to move left. This one is a reflection, if you remember, over x-axis. And this one is going to be a reflection over y-axis. Now, if you remember, they look the same. Why? Because negative x raised to the third power, that quantity is the same of negative x to the third power. They are the same graph, a different way to say it. Uh, and these are, are called rigid transformation. What about this one? This one we talk in part 4, no rigid transformation. If you remember, we have this, uh, this one where we 
A was greater than Y was 2, that would be a vertical stretch. Okay. Uh, this one where uh, A is between 0 and 1, remember, it's getting fat, moved uh, towards the x-axis, the left and the right side of the x-cube. That will be called vertical shrink. And these ones are so similar to the other one. Uh, if you take a look, this one will be a cube x-cube. So it's going to look similar with this one. However, we call this one horizontal shrink. And this one, the same story, uh, is going to be horizontal stretch. So now let's see two examples. Uh, number one and number two, right? I'm going to do number one. Write an equation of the graph y equals x cubed, right? So we have a cubic uh, of a vertical switch of factor six, horizontal shift three units to the left, and seven units up. So basically, let's start with the last part, right? Left x plus three, right? Three units left, that means um, we're moving towards the negative number, so x plus 3 cube, right, because it's a cubic, and up 7 units. Yeah, that vertical uh, stretch factor goes here. Okay, so go ahead and do number 2. Let's see if we get the same answer. If you have this answer for number two, then you did a wonderful job. This transformation works also for some other power function, like x to the fourth power. You can do the same transformation. Fifth power, sixth power, and so on. x to the n power. These are called power function, and they follow pretty much the same transformation. No problem. In fact, any polynomial function you want to think is going to work the same way. So if you have a polynomial function like this, uh, you can do the same transformation, just need to be careful. If you enjoyed this video clip, uh, don't forget to click the like button down left and come back and see square for more right uh, down right, sorry, and come back and see square for more math video clip.